team from Riley Hospital for Children is making regular trips to the Middle East to provide life-saving heart surgeries for children for free. This effort started back in 2007, now leading to hundreds of life-saving operations. After recently returning from another trip, team members sat down with News 8's Danielle Zulkowski to explain why they feel pulled into this unpaid work. Sitting down with this team was inspiring. At their core, they care about one thing, saving children's lives. But for many of them, these trips are about more than that. It's about giving back to the region that raised them, learning new ways to practice medicine, and changing hearts and minds, both in the Middle East and the United States. These Riley Hospital missions bring life-saving heart surgeries to Amman, Jordan. People from all over the region, desperate for medical care, flock to the city to get the help they otherwise would have died without. We're all very fortunate here, and a lot of us probably don't realize it until you get a chance to go over there and understand what it means to these people. There's no difference between anybody in any country. We have an opportunity to take some time and gift back to those that are very much less fortunate. The missions are backed by a single surgeon, Dr. Mark Turrentine, a man that is almost revered in the Middle East for the hundreds of lives he's saved for free. He is extremely committed to this. I think a lot of people always want to go and it's very, you feel very honored to get to go. And it's just a rewarding experience and he is very, he spends a lot of time doing this. Turrentine goes abroad, flying from Indianapolis to Jordan at least three times a year, sometimes adding a fourth trip when needed. His pro bono work is primarily in the Middle East, but has occasionally brought him to other places like Uganda and China. He estimates he's done 400 operations over about 50 trips. It's just the Riley team. It's from our team here. So we're really an extension of the team here over to there and that makes it very easy for us to work together. Some of the team members are Syrian physicians that trained and settled here in the United States. It is quite quite hard to say how, how honestly you feel going back uh, uh, because it does go way beyond closing a hole in the heart or fixing a valve. It, it, it's actually speak of uh, the disparity in resources and how how we can even uh, touch in human life and, and tell people in that region who's going through a lot of struggling that still there is a people outside that region who care about you and care about your children. This is the most rewarding things. This is really amazing, be able to go there helping these poor families and feel like you are doing something significant. Being chosen for these trips is a big deal among the heart team at Riley. In August, a new nurse practitioner joined the team. At first unsure, she came back saying the trip changed her life. Not having been to that part of the world, it was just a little bit of a whole perspective shift coming back. And not to sound cliche, but I, it, I've definitely come back just more refreshed and kind of enjoying and more thankful for life here too. These trips do more than change the course of a child's health journey. They can change hearts and minds about the way people feel about the states abroad and how Americans feel about the Middle East. It's the whole reason that I got in to medicine and taking care of patients or people as a whole. I think it's just raw humanity. You see people for their best. I mean, everything is just humanity at its best. There was a father, I got the email, uh, he was from Iraq, and this is back when things were still tense. He sent a message back, <clears throat> his thanks to the Jordanian team and our team. So he went back to Iraq and put Jordanian and U.S. flags on top of his house, out of respect for the efforts. So I think those are the kinds of things that feed back to us and give us uh, some of the sense of gratitude, I think for the, the opportunity to be able to do this. These trips are not free, costing $50,000 per visit in hospital fees. That's covered by donors in the Middle East, while others in Indiana cover hotels, food, and travel. The healthcare providers donate their time. Anyone can help out by donating to the Riley International Heart Missions. Their next trip is scheduled in December, but Dr. Turrentine says he's always ready for an emergency follow-up trip. 
I'm Danielle Zulkowski for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook for updates.